Welcome to New York. I'm Mother Pigeon. Oh, don't be so scared. I found the love and fascination of pigeons through just watching them. I love to just admire them wherever I am and their different colors and the way that they act and the way they chase each other around. And they give life to the city is what I, what I really love. Without nature, without wildlife, the city is dead. One of my joys is to wake up in the morning and hear the pigeons cooing and waiting for me to come out and feed them. Um, I go through 100 pounds a week feeding different flocks in the city. And then I get to go to the rooftop and I feed over 100 pigeons a day. And they, they know me and they come from all the rooftops to come and eat. And I give them their food and they enjoy their food and then they leave with a full tummy. I've been making these soft sculpture art pigeons for six years. But I don't really figure out how, how long it takes. I'm not a machine. I make them. I make them with love. And however long it takes me, I don't really know. And I have a really great time making them and showing them to people. And it's how I make my living. But this is a blue bar. This is pretty much the standard pigeon that people um, see and think about as a pigeon. Um, but yeah, here he is, all finished. So when I leave my house, uh, a lot of pigeons know where I live. They know what street I'm going to walk down. So they'll wait at different street corners and they'll come down and they follow me down the street. So I always have to have a big bag of seed so, um, so they can enjoy their meal, just as you get to enjoy your meal every day. What I like about pigeons is that they struggle to live in this city. They're very, very resilient, but they have learned how to adapt to our city life, and I think that's really admirable. And uh, we should treat them like, like our family because they are surviving just like we are, struggling to live in this city that we love and you know, throw them a handout every now and then, throw them some seeds, some bread. I come to Union Square, I go to Washington Square, and I also go to odd street corners, and I put my birds out and I sell them. That's what I do. When I place the pigeons out for, I do a, like a, an exhibit, and I call it a flash flock, and then people come and they walk by, and. People say different things like, oh my God, I thought they were real, or are they real? And oh, are the other pigeons confused? I mean, they have like all these funny things that people come up and say to me. It makes people actually look at the pigeon because you can't really look at them that closely unless you sit still. Everyone's hustling around. They don't get to look at pigeons, but here they are, they're still. And then people end up liking them or looking at them adoringly. And I always think to myself, wow, I wish they would do that with real pigeons, but I think a lot of people, I've changed their mind to, to love pigeons just by making them and showing them in a, in a positive you know, situation, positive light. Please subscribe to the Wizard of Odd TV.